Hi and welcome back. In this video, we will build the start game class. This is the most important class since we will be writing all the necessary code for the quiz to run as per our desired result. Let's get started. If you want to master Android apps and games development, then click subscribe and the bell icon. And let's do this together. Open Android Studio. Declare a text view for showing timer. A text view for showing result. An image view for showing an image in question. Instantiate a hash map to store technology names and corresponding image resource IDs. An array list for storing technology names only. Declare an index variable. We will keep incrementing it as the quiz proceeds to the next question. Declare four button object references for displaying four options to choose from. A text view for displaying points. An integer variable to store points. A countdown timer object reference. And a long integer to store the time limit for each question to be used with the countdown timer. In onCreate, get the handles for the views. Initialize index with 0. Let's populate take list with all the technology names. Put all the technology names with technology image resource IDs in map. Shuffle take list so that each time we open the app, it starts with a random question. Initialize millis until finished. We are going to set 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds time limit for each question. Initialize points to 0. Call start game method that is responsible for starting the quiz. Next, we will define the start game method. Initialize millis until finished with 10 seconds. Set the text view for timer. Set the text view for points. To generate a question, call generate questions method and pass index as parameter. Create method generate questions in start game. In generate questions, clone take list to a new array list called take list temp. Get the correct answer for the current question from take list using index. We need to find three non-repeated incorrect answers randomly. So we will delete the correct answer from take list temp, shuffle it and get first three elements from it. Create a temporary array list for storing three non-repeated random answers from take list temp and one correct answer. Get first three elements from take list temp and add into new list. Also add the correct answer into new list. Shuffle new list so that the correct answer can be placed in one of the four buttons randomly. Once you shuffle new list, set all four buttons text with the elements from new list. Also, set the image view with current image from map. Go back to the definition of start game. 
Now we will instantiate the countdown timer object. Android countdown timer class is used to schedule a countdown until a time in the future defined by the value you specify with regular notifications on intervals along the way. In the constructor for countdown timer, you need to specify two things. Number one, the number of millis in the future from the call to start method until the countdown is done and on finish method is called. And number two, the interval along the way to receive on tick callbacks. We have to also override on tick and on finish methods. In our case, on tick callback method is fired on regular intervals of 1000 milliseconds or 1 second. And on finish callback method is fired when the timer finishes. Update TV timer every 1 second to show the number of seconds remaining. Increment index by 1 so that the next question can be presented automatically when the user is unable to select his or her answer. When timer is finished, check if all questions are being asked. If true, hide the image view and buttons. Go to game over screen with points using an intent. Finish start game activity. In the else part, that is, if all questions are not being asked, call start game again. And this is the case when no answer is selected before the time limit is over. So the player will be presented with the next question and no points will be granted. If you want, you can also decrement the points here for skipping a question and that will make the quiz a bit harder. Next, go to answer selected method. The user has selected an answer. So cancel the countdown timer. Get clicked buttons text for user answer. And get the correct answer for the current question from tick list using index as position. Compare answer and correct answer. That is the answer selected by the user and the correct answer for this question. If true, the user has selected the right answer. So increment points. I am incrementing points by one here. But you can increment by any number you want. Update the text views for points and result. In else, that is, when the user answer is incorrect, show wrong in TV result. Next, go to next question method. This method is called because the user has tapped the next button. So cancel countdown timer. And increment index to proceed to the next question. Check if all questions have been asked. If true, Hide the image view and buttons. Go to game over screen with points. Finish. Start game activity. Till there is at least one question left, call start game. Let's quickly recap what we have done in start game class. First, we declared some few objects to display information related to the quiz. A hash map for storing technology names and corresponding image resource IDs. An array list for storing technology names only. An integer variable called index to identify the current question number, a countdown timer, etc. In onCreate, we instantiated the view objects, index variable, array list, hash map, etc. and called start game method. In start game, 
we called another method called generate questions and passed index as parameter. In generate questions method, we were finding three non-repeated incorrect answers randomly from the array list of technology names and added them to a new array list called new list. We also added the correct answer into new list, shuffled it and used its four elements to set four buttons text. This way, we created the four options for a question, one correct and three non-repeated incorrect answers in random positions. We also set the image view with the current take image from map. The user has to identify this image and tap one of the four buttons for his or her answer. Go back to the start game method. After generating the question and the four options via generate questions method, we instantiated the countdown timer object. In on tick method, we updated the takes view for timer to show the number of seconds remaining. In on finish method, since timer is finished, we should move on to the next question. So, we incremented index and checked whether all questions have been asked. If true, the game should be over. So, we created an intent, put points into it as extra and launched game over activity. In the else part, that is, till there is at least one question left, we call start game method, which again updates the text views for timer and points, generates a question with four options and starts countdown timer. This is the case when no answer was selected by the user before the time limit is over. Next, go to answer selected method, which gets called when the user selects an answer by tapping on one of the four buttons. Since the user has selected an answer, we cancel the countdown timer, get click buttons text and get the correct answer from tech list using index. Then we compare these two strings. If both strings are equal, meaning the user has selected the right answer, we increment points and update text views for points and result. Next, go to next question method that is called when next button is clicked or tapped. Here, cancel countdown timer, increment index and check whether all questions have been asked. If true, we create an intent, put points into it as extra and launch game over activity where points and personal best are being shown to the user. In the else part, that is, till there is at least one question left, we call start game. Thus, a new question is presented either when next button is tapped, after answer selection or when the timer is finished. Alright, that's all for this lecture. Next, we will design the UI for game over activity, where we will show the points, personal best, a game over graphic and two buttons for restarting the quiz and exiting from it. See you in the next video.